for today's demonstration, I'm using a Sanford ebony pencil. Today, I will show you how to create a gradation of value without using your finger or any other blending materials. Ebony pencil is really soft, so it's really great to use when you're trying to create a very large range of values. In the top circle, I'm showing you what normally students do when they first get the ebony pencil in order to create value. You're going to see that my hand is moving very quickly across the page and there's a lot of white spaces in between all the pencil lines. Now in this circle, I want you to see how I'm using a different technique in order to create value. This technique is what I want you to practice. I apply a light value with small circles, which means that my hand is going slower and adding little circles as I move around inside the circle. Notice that I'm barely holding the pencil. I'm allowing the ebony pencil to rest in my fingertips while I move my wrist back and forth. By having a loose grip, it allows me to have little pressure on the ebony pencil, which creates the lightest value. Your hand should not hurt from gripping the pencil, so if it does feel sore, loosen up. Notice how far back I'm holding the pencil so that the end of the pencil is in the palm of my hand. That allows me to give a really light value without putting too much pressure on the pencil. When using ebony pencil, you wanna start by adding a light value over the entire shape, and then from there you build your value. You'll see that by taking your time and making sure that you add a light value with little circles in different directions, you'll have a nice smooth value. In the bottom box, you're seeing that I'm holding the pencil really tight and close to the end of the pencil where the lead comes out of, and I can't really create a nice smooth transition from dark to light because of how I'm holding the pencil and also how I'm applying it with big streaks. The most important thing is to slow down and take your time. In the other box, I'm showing you how to use the circle technique in order to create a smooth transition. Notice how far back I'm holding my pencil in order to make sure I don't put a lot of pressure on it. My goal is to create the lightest value possible using this ebony pencil. Notice that it's easier to make a smooth transition from dark to light when I add a light layer over the entire thing and then I build that value. As I add darker values, you'll notice that my hand gets closer to the tip of the pencil, which allows me to put more pressure on the pencil. Ebony pencil smudge is easy, so be careful not to smudge the work that you've already created. In order to get rid of steps in between values, what I like to do is very lightly kind of brush my ebony pencil over where I see those lines in order to kind of fade those lines. This technique of blending values without smudging does take some practice.